Hey, this is your girl Tashin. How you doing? How you feeling? I hope you're doing great. <laughs> yes, yes. How a Swedish coffee break can boost your well-being and performance. What? I don't know. Uh, I do. I drink a lot of coffee. Well, yeah. I drink. I well, yeah. I do latte. Latte coffee is almost the same. But I love latte. I love flavor latte. I love hazelnut latte. I just love latte. Um, the only thing is with me that I notice. Um, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't drink uh, any latte in a, in a while. Like almost a week now. And I don't know for some reason, coffee makes me feel tired. It does the opposite for me, which is weird. Cause usually people who drink coffee usually feel so hype. You know, they sit, they feel so energetic. They feel so ready to do things and stuff like that. I don't know. For me, it's like the opposite. It makes me feel like I don't know. I feel like I I haven't slept in years. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so let's just get straight to it. Let's hear what they have to say. Varför fika är viktigt i Sverige, det har ju en väldigt viktig social funktion. Man skulle kunna säga att det är som ett socialt smörjmedel. like to learn how to do a Swedish fika. Great, you've come to the right place. Well, let me start with the basics. Do you want coffee or do you want tea? Uh, coffee? I would love some coffee. Yeah, coffee please. Well, we do normally drink a lot of coffee here in Sweden. I think I'd like a cappuccino, please. For pastries, what do you want then? Like, here we have our crown jewel of Swedish fika. It's the cinnamon bun or a princess cake. Two cinnamon buns. Let's share a slice of that. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. All right, great. I'll bring it out to you. That looked good. Can somebody comment below me what that is? Having a fika at the workplace makes it possible for you to yeah, relax and chill in a different way. And that is necessary in order to have a good working environment. Here's your coffee. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, for a Swedish fika, let me start with how well do you guys actually know each other? We actually just met at work today. All right, nice. Well, I mean, then I would suggest to like maybe not start talk about like politics, uh, religion. Try to keep it light. I agree with him. I agree. Let's not talk about religion and let's not talk about politics. Because those are two things that get into a heated debate, uh, uh, get into an argument. It is a non-stop conversation that would never stop. Two parties are going to feel uncomfortable and feeling upset. Yeah, let's not talk about politics and religion. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Is it actually possible to fika whenever we want? I mean, like at workplaces you usually have fika at 10 and then at 3. But if you're outside the work situation, you, you just fika whenever you want. I think for sure that uh, those relaxed moments when uh, everyone just, you know, 
chills out a little bit and allow each other to talk about stuff that are work related but also stuff that is not necessarily work related gives a spillover effect of you know creativity and maybe also uh, the opportunity to say stuff that you do maybe wouldn't uh, allow yourself to say otherwise Som fikat ser ut idag kan man ju säga att det växte fram under slutet av 1800-talet. Wow. Ja, det som har förändrats med fikat det är ju att kaffekopparna är större, bullarna är säkert tre gånger så stora. I just want to try every Every dessert y'all have is sweeted. I just we do like I told I, I mentioned it before. We do have a sweeten store here in in New York. I I was supposed to stop by one of these days if I remember. I'm gonna stop by because I wanna I wonder if they have some of these stuff that they showing here in this video because I wanna try them. Det som är så likt det är ju det här att man sitter tillsammans. So is it okay to decline the fika? Uh, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that. So what happens if I decline the fika with it without a good reason? Jag tackar man nej till fika privat. If you say no to a fika invite, då är det kanske that would mean that you don't. Tala om att man inte vill träffas för det bör man tacka ja till. See a lot of new products. Y'all gotta worry about me. I won't say no. Give me some nice, good coffee. Uh, well, black tea, I should say, and um, a little cinnamon bun, and whatever you have to, to you know, I will be there. Okay, you ain't gotta worry about me saying no. I will be there. <laughs> Instead of having a cinnamon bun, you have like the raw bars and acai bowls. Chia puddings, Ooh, overnight oats, salad. fruit salads. It brings in more variation to the whole concept. Okay. So, are we ready to start fika now? I mean, yeah, technically, but you need to know that, like, we uh, we eat them in a in a particular order. So, um, I mean, most Swedes already know that. Oh, what is the eating order then? Because I actually just took a bite of the princess cake. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Well, we we always start with the least fancy cookie, and then we we end with the most fancy cake. Okay, so start with the cinnamon bun, and then. Yeah. Good to know for next time. Yeah. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. I'm okay. Yeah, I didn't tell me that. Cause I reacted to something similar to this. Yeah, I didn't mention that to me. So now I know. When I go to Sweden, I know where where I'm supposed to start from first. Okay, the least fancy one, then you then you eat the fancy one later, right? Well, how would I even know what's, I don't know much about, I wouldn't even know what's fancier than the other. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know. <laughs> yeah. That skulle jag nog hugga in på tårtan först för att det känns västligast. Eh, men sen skulle jag nog snabbt därefter hugga in på småkakorna för det är min favorit. I would start with the cinnamon bun and then I have uh, small cookies, uh, cakes and then uh, I'll end it up with a, a princess cake. I would start with the cinnamon roll. Okay. And go over to the small cookies and finally I have a piece of the princess cake. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. See, y'all supposed to be my friends and y'all didn't tell me that. See, they have to tell me that. Okay. Y'all got to tell me these things, people. But now I know now. Okay. Now I know. Now I know. Right. I would probably have to go for the cake first and okay. then work myself down to the smallest uh, pastries. Okay, that was it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I 
I'm like learning new things. That was fun. I enjoyed that video. I don't even enjoy it because there's two things that I like. It's sweets and a nice cup of latte. I hot. It could be hot or iced latte. I just love latte. I don't know why. I just love the taste of latte. I don't. I can't drink regular coffee. I can't do it. I try. I'm not much of a. I don't. The thing is, I don't know much about terms when it comes to coffee. I just know. I'm only familiar with latte because I've been drinking that for years, and I love me some latte. Um, I just love the taste of it. I love the flavor because they have hazelnut, they have caramel, um, and I put a little bit of a little creamer in it. And I love iced latte, ice latte in the summertime, you know, with some uh, whipped cream. And they put a little bit of um, what you call it, syrup in it. It's a little bit, not too much, because I don't like it too too sweet. Yeah, I can't. If I'm gonna eat some, if I'm gonna eat like a dessert or something, like a cake, or whatever, I don't want my stuff, my my latte to be too too sweet because it's too much sweet things yeah i can't be in too much sweet stuff but i enjoy this you know i hope y'all learned something if y'all not from sweden and y'all planning to go to sweden at least you learned something from this okay y'all know now so it's my invite you uh to fita how you say it again fita fita am i saying it right i'm so sorry y'all fita I, i'm supposed to be remembering these things it's called fita i think Fika, Fika, Fika. I saw the, I saw the name. Fika. Somebody invite you to Fika. You better say yes. Well, if you, if you don't feel like socializing, I guess you could say no. You have a choice. I don't think you know. You have a choice. It's up to you. You don't have to go if you don't want to. But this was fun. Anyway, if there's any other videos you like me to react to, comment below. Let your girl know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So go down there and subscribe. And I will see you, lovely people. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Peace.